Today we would like to continue with explanation on the Maha Karanika Chitta Dharani. And last time we stopped at Dara Dara Dharanisvaraya Chala Chala Mama Vimala Muktile. We stop at Muktile. So Mama uh, Sanskrit Sanskrit word Mama that means my uh, Vimala means purity pure and Muktile means liberation. So it is my purity and my liberation. Of course, it contains a lot of meaning in purity and liberation. Um, but a mantra would only give you the key points in it. A mantra would not give the detailed explanation. It just gives the, the, the key points. But then when you come to chant it, what are we trying to purify? Our clothes? It get dirty, you purify our clothes. And to purify is to make it clean. What do we do to purify our body every day? What do we do to make it clean? What do we do? We take a bath. We use soap, ivory, you know, whatever you want to use. Shampoo to clean your hair. You're cleaning, you're taking a bath every day to clean up your body. We only thought of cleaning the body, but we never thought of cleaning our own mind. Do we need to clean our mind? How do we clean it? My brain, how do I clean my brain? My brain, how can I clean it? The Buddha taught us how to clean our mind. What does the mind do? Thoughts originate from the mind. What kind of thoughts? Wholesome thoughts, unwholesome thoughts, indeterminate thoughts. And previously I already explained, we have more unwholesome thoughts coming up than wholesome thoughts. Our mind drives us to behave. Our behavior comes from thought, behavior. What kind of behavior do we do every day? We do wholesome and unwholesome ones. Sometimes we are kind, sometimes we are considerate. Those are the wholesome behavior. We are very polite, ladies first, you know. And don't ask me why, we always go gentlemen first to the refectory. Um, so, we have behavior. What kind of behavior? Sometimes we go to extreme. Fighting, fighting, killing, um, what else? Stealing, what else? Sexual misconduct, what else? Lots of them. Refer to the newspapers, the Globe and Mail, Vancouver Sun. How, how, how much misbehavior resulted in crimes? Do we need to purify them? Yes. What does the, the mind drive next, drive us to do? Our mouth, speech. What does the mouth do? The mouth, curse, lie, slander, flattery, what else? Bad language, double tongue, tattletelling, telling, stopping people back using language. The mind drive that. So, what are we trying to purify our mind? We purify our body, which means behavior, our mouth, which means speech, and our mind, which means the thoughts arising from it. So that's what we're purifying. Whenever you chant this mantra, oh, mama vimali vimala muktile, mama vimala muktile, that means my, I have to purify my, pur I have to purify my body, my, my speech, my behavior. Not just, not just body physically, per se, the body. I have to purify my behavior, my speech, and my thought. So what is the result if you really can purify these? 
I didn't see any result. So what's the use of purifying them? When you purified your mind, your thought, your speech, what comes? Good karma comes. Pure karma comes. When you always stay away from cursing, stay away from flattery, stay away from lying, you will always stay away from uh, behaviorally speaking, you will stay away from sexual misconduct, you stay away from intoxication, you stay away from drugs, you stay away from bad conduct. What, what's the result? You lead a happy life. Because whatever bad things you have done, bad deeds, you think you can get away with them? There's cause and effect. You can get away from karma. Karma will get you. The police may not be able to get you. If you're clever, if you're a very clever crime um, uh, imposer, crime actor, crime, I don't know, um, criminal, if you're a clever criminal, the, the, the police may not get you, but causality, karma, would get you one day. You can't get away with it. So if somebody done you wrong, don't always have grudges in, in, in yourself. Forgive, because anyway, karma will get him. You don't want karma to get him, but naturally, spontaneously, by the law of cause and effect, karma will get him. So you always have to purify it. And if we purify all this, what's the result? A muktele is the result. Liberation. You're liberated from your cocoon or ego. You're liberated from all your mental afflictions. You are liberated from unhappiness because you're always pure. When you come to the temple, this has been a, this has been a, a, a joke that I've been always talking about and I encounter many times comments like that. Um, I come to the temple for blessings. I come to the temple for blessings and you, Reverend, you're telling me that I have to purify myself? And you're always telling me that everything is impermanent and I'm going to die. So I'm not happy coming to the temple. Coming to the temple to get blessings is, I want this, I want that. That's not the teaching of the Buddha. That's superstition if you just, I want this, I want I want blessings from the Buddha. A practice is two-way, two-fold in every practice. One is depending on your own efforts. That is my meditation, by purifying yourself, by improving yourself. That's one aspect. That is the yourself, coming from yourself aspect of the practice. Another is from, the, from others' help from the Bodhisattva's help, from the Buddha's help. There are Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and Arahats who are ready to help you. But first of all, you must walk the line first. You must walk the path. You must initiate that first step. You can't just sit there and let Buddha bless you and you don't do anything. You continue to do your, your, your bad thoughts. You continue to be a, a criminal. You continue to be impure. And you are expecting God or, or, or Buddha to, to bless you. Why don't you improve on yourself first? You gotta walk that path yourself. Don't rely on Buddha to give you everything the best you want. You create your own world with your own hands, with your inconceivable mind. You can create your own destiny, create your own bright future. Don't depend on the Buddha to do it. Don't depend on God. You can do it yourself. Starting from tomorrow, whatever you want to do, as long as they're wholesome, compassionate, considerate, they're on the right path, righteous, you get it done. But you've got to lay out the methods to do it. You've got to have the confidence to do it. You've got to have the persistency to do it. Again, we're coming to the cause of positive thinking. In Buddhism, it's all positive. Life is negative, but Buddhism is positive. You can't be a lazy practitioner. You gotta walk, do it, try your efforts. Next, next. So, Mama Vimala Muktene, 
Ehi, ehi, zina, zina. Ehi, ehi, that means come, come, you got to do it. Zina, zina is still untranslatable. We still don't know because this, this sutra is more than 3,000 years, 2,600 years old, and, 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 and Sanskrit has developed and, and a lot of changes in the language, so we don't even know what the meaning of zina and zina is. And so we don't even translate it. Arazam prachari, that means the saintly affairs develop. Such a saintly practice, a saintly method, gradually develop. It develops out. Visavizam prasaya. Visavizam, visavizam, that means universally, universally. Prasaya, that means having conquered. Having conquered what? Uh, having conquered your own mental afflictions, having conquered your own illusions, having conquered your own ignorance. Hulu, hulu, mara. Hulu, hulu, that means quick, quick. Hulu, hulu means quick, quick. That means when you do this liberation, when you do this purity, when you want to improve yourself, don't wait. Do it now. Get your first step out. Don't procrastinate. A lot of people procrastinate in doing many, many things. Why don't I wait? I think about it. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do it. Should I go to university? Maybe I shouldn't. I haven't got the marks yet. Oh, how do I do it? Well, people say that you really have to work hard at grade 12, and now I'm at grade 11. Well, should I plan to go to university? Oh, I'll see. Maybe I'll travel for three years and up to grade 12 and come back again. You have to make a decision. You always procrastinate on what you're doing. The Buddha said, quick, quick, make a decision. Do it, do it. Visavisam hulu, hulu, mara. So whenever you want to do something, always think of this, hulu, hulu. Means quick, quick, do it, do it fast. Mara, that means strong being. You have to be strong, you have to have the confidence. So mara, 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 mara also means the devil, I mean the strong. Devil is also strong. What entices you, what attracts you, what charms you, the mara is also very strong. The world is full of enticements. The world is full of, full of things that, that attract your attention, that en entice you to do something bad. Um, stay away from it. You'll be stronger than them. You'll be stronger than the, than the objects that draw your attention. You always put your mind under control. If you don't put your mind under control, like when you're, when you're playing with your Facebook, one hour has passed away, the second hour, third hours, you know that you're not right. You know that you're squandering your precious time away on the Facebook. You're squandering your precious time away on seeing something that is, does, not, does not mean anything but you still go on and on and on and on because you're not strong enough. You're not strong enough to pull yourself back. You'll be strong. Hulu, hulu, mara. Hulu, hulu, mara. You'll be strong on yourself. Hulu, hulu, hirahi, the next line. Hulu, hulu, hirahi. Hulu, hulu means quick, quick. Hirahi, what is hirahi? Hirahi is the seat syllable of Amitabha and Avalokitesvara Bodhisattva. Hirahi is a very strong, very, very important word. Or if we put it in common English language, it is a word of energy. Hirahi, a word of energy. Um, it combines uh, four sounds. Ha, ra, i, a. Hariya. Hirahi, hirahi. Hirahi, it, it combines ha, ra, i, a. Ha, H -A, huh? ha means cause. But this is actually independent of cause and effect. It's beyond cause and effect. Um, ha, beyond cause and effect. It also symbolizes air, uh, according to some uh, Sanskrit explanation. Dra means purity. Uh, cannot be polluted uh, with dirt and dust. It also symbolizes fire. 
อีอาเดอีเฮรฮีอี l i k e in the English word alphabet word is I I is pronounced in Sanskrit as E and not as I so E consists of three uh, perspectives in it remember the three bodies the Dharma body is invisible there's, there's no form the Dharma the, the Dharma kaya Dharma body it, it's it's the t a r a g a t a the the suchness the invisible the essence of it the n o m e n a of it if I borrow the word from Kant remember Kant the the Western philosophers. Mentioned that there is phenomena outside, and there is also the, the phenomena inside. Uh, the, the phenomena is all visible; the phenomena is invisible. That is the d h a m m a k a y a and then there's also the prajna, and that is also the liberation, emancipation. So there's three levels in E, and the A means sunyata and ex- sunyata and existing. Sunyata is emptiness. Uh, everything is empty. Empty does not mean it is nothing. Empty because it does not have its own s v a b h a v a It does not have its own nature. It comes together because of causes and is impermanent. Everything is like that. Everything is empty because everything comes together because of causes, and that's the law of causality. Nothing is, doesn't come. Nothing does not become itself without causes. The fact that you're coming here today is without causes. Think about it. Why did you come today? I'm a first-time comer, and I heard about a temple, and maybe I go to to meditate for a day to see what they're doing. It's interesting, right? I uh, Google uh, and find out that meditation is it's helpful. So it's helpful for me. So uh, what are causes? So many causes to bring you here today. My brother is giving a lift. He's going to the gym, and uh, okay, I give me a lift, and he dropped me off at the temple. So I, I came here, and he promised to pick me up at uh, at twelve uh, thirty. So all these are causes to bring you here. Nothing happened without a cause, and nothing disintegrate without a cause. Nothing becomes successful without a cause, and nothing becomes as unsuccessful be- without a cause. Nothing fail with no cause. And some people would say, "What does that teach me? I know, I know. Everything has a cause, have a reason for it. I know everything has a reason for it, have the cause for it. How does that help me? Because you haven't opened your door of." Wisdom to see how that law of emptiness, that law of causality, help you. Let me tell you. When you know that there's causality in everything, what are you going to do? You're going to make causes. You're going to make it happen. I want to be successful. You're going to make successful causes happen.